Mr. Dutoy, sir. Mr. Dutoy. Sit down. Big old bum. I'm terribly sorry. I'm sorry you're not feeling fit. Well, I actually feel rather spry as things go. Unfortunately, I fell in love with these flowers ten years ago. And I've looked after them, I've cared for them. And, and then, like naughty mistresses, they. They've shown their thanks by giving me a permanent allergy. <laughs> but I find myself with undying affection for them. Especially this beautiful, troublesome wench. Well, there must be something you can do. Oh, bloody doctors tell you anything to take your money. Away. I take these uh, lozenges. Uh, totally ineffective, but they, they're they rather tasty. I, I'm, I'm rather fond of the lavender ones, but you care for them. No, 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 thank you. Mm. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Would you like a cup of tea? No. No, thank you. No, um... No, I... I'm here on a matter of justice. Matter of justice? Well, I, I'm afraid that's a, a trifle more complex to serve you up than a cup of tea. But in any event, please do go on. For Gordon Gabeni, you remember the story of Gordon Gabeni? Yes, yes, a dreadful, dreadful, dreadful story. I want justice for him, to the full extent of the law. You see, justice and law Mr. Detroit, uh, are often just... Well, they, I suppose they could be described as distant cousins, and here in South Africa, they're, they're simply not on speaking terms at all. And I have I have familiarized myself with your dossier. And I'm afraid that my counsel to you is to just give it up. Give it up? Yes. Because there is nothing to be done. That's what I... That's what I said to his son when his son was caned, and now his son is dead. That's what I thought about Gordon when he was jailed, and now he is dead because of my neglect. I have known that family for 15 years, Mr. McKenzie. I cannot give it up. Yes. That does make a difference, of course. There must be some penalty under law for those who commit murder. Mr. Dutoy, may I ask you how long you have lived with us in South Africa? All my life. I'm afraid that I am... I'm just not the barrister that you're seeing. I'm sorry. I'm confused, Mr. McKenzie. I thought that you had undertaken many cases and won them in support of human rights. No. You see, what you don't realize is that every time I, I won a case, they simply changed the law. They? So therefore, my considered counsel to you is to just simply chuck the law. I shall find another barrister, and I shall prove you Good afternoon, Mr. McKenzie. Please sit down, Mr. Dutoy. I will take your case. I will take your case if only to make it abundantly clear how, how justice in South Africa is misapplied when it comes to the question of race. 